I know there are no words that can express our sorrow and grief over the loss of those splendid young men and the injury to so many others. I know there are no words also that can ease the burden of grief for the families of those young men. On October 23, 1983, a Lebanese terrorist plowed his bomb-laden truck through three guard posts and into the lobby of the Marine Corps headquarters in Beirut, where he detonated a massive bomb, killing 241 Marine, Navy, and Army personnel. The bomb, which was made of a sophisticated explosive enhanced by gas, had an explosive power equivalent to 18,000 pounds of dynamite. In his autobiography in American Life, President Reagan wrote, Nancy and I were in a state of grief, made almost speechless by the magnitude of the loss. I'll never forget how difficult it was trying to pay attention to the things that were very important while trying to grasp the enormity of the tragedy in Beirut. In 1984, President Reagan received this plaque in memory of the fallen armed forces.